if technologically it becomes possible to colonize other worlds, do you think our bodies and our brains could handle it? Definitely our brains could handle it. Probably the biggest uh, impediment to just going there is the cost. I mean, I think we can overcome the, the challenges if we could overcome the financial requirements. Who knows what the resources are on Mars, but I think there are advantages Assuming you could do it to having a, uh, another livable planet, NASA believes in redundant systems and Earth is a system, so if at some point in our future it became feasible to maybe make Mars somewhat like Earth, then it would be, uh, there would be a lot of value to that. But there's also value in just exploring for exploration's sake, I mean, we're explorers. And I think doing stuff that is really, uh, really complicated, really difficult, that challenges us, also adds, um, you know, to our to our economy, and you know, makes uh, our lives better right here on Earth. Do you think that Elon Musk setting up his own Mars architecture that that compromises the government's ambitions in any way, shape, or form? Not at all. And uh, you know, I would hope that NASA would uh, even partner with him in some respects. Uh, you know, having competition in everything always helps too if we looked at it like you know someone's trying to get there first that would be helpful too would you go to mars yes you would go to mars yes for but how I, long though um i i would go on the three-year trip where you come home were you ever counting down the days when you were spending that year in space i um tried to count up Unfortunately, my colleague Misha started counting down at day 100. Every day you would say 99, 98, 97. Oh, I had to count down because of him.